enough. It's normal. It's, it's, I go out with, these, with my clients all the time. This is normal. Mm -hmm. Part of what's important to us is to understand the scope of the problem as well. So obviously this is the one photo that's come to your light. But part of what's very important is that we know if there are any other incidents in the past that someone else might be able to use against you. Or obviously we want to make sure that you're fully protected, not just protected from the immediate incident. So is there anything in the past that we should be knowing about? I take the broad spectrum of drugs, and I take them regularly. Okay. Right. And... In regards to this party, do you know if anyone else has been sent photos, if the person who supplied the drugs has been contacted at all? No, I haven't talked to anybody about this, because okay. I don't, if they don't know, I'm not telling them. Right. Yep, that certainly oh, so he's not going to be really happy about this, my client. I don't, want him not, I don't want him thinking that I'm going down and I might take him with me. Okay. All right. So what we might do now is just uh, make sure we've got all these details and then see if there's any other areas we need to get a bit more information on. And sometimes that'll include, obviously, as you're aware from doing the same job, uh, questions that don't always seem relevant, but it's very important for us to get a very wide scope of information. So just another wee avenue that, that's important to us is in terms of your business uh, and how you're interacting with your clients. Have you had any other problems in terms of that mail or in terms of clients having interactions with you that you're not happy with? Um, I've started to have some complaints from my clients. I mean, you know, criminal clients complain. Mm -hmm. They always think you should get them off. And they always think that you didn't do your best. But um, in this case, some of the time, they've probably been right. And you say you've uh, started to have. I mean, is this something that's increased recently? Or is, I mean, how long have you been in practice? I've been in practice for 10 years. But the... Drugs have become more prominent in my life over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've got myself more and more clients. And um, as, as I've had less time and perhaps less um, ability to focus on those clients, mm -hmm. um, they, uh, they probably have some reason for complaint. Is there any particular reason why you say that? in terms of perhaps if you could tell us about a specific complaint and why you think it is available? Well, sometimes I go to court and I'm not functioning very well. Okay. Is that something that other people aside from your clients have noticed? My clients' relatives have noticed. Mm -hmm. Some of them have called me to complain. Okay. Afterwards. So obviously that's sort of uh, one general incident. Uh, we do need a wee bit more detail. Obviously you said you've had some phone calls. What other forms have the complaints taken? Some of the clients have come to see me and said that um, that I was high when I was in court and I didn't do a good enough job because I wasn't functioning very well. Mm -hmm. And you said, obviously, before that you thought there might be some truth to that. Uh, Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. Now, you mentioned that it's over the last two years that this has sort of been going on more, more so. And so for us to understand perhaps the scope of the problem a wee bit more, is there any particular reason why over the last two years that's been the case? Um, I think it's because uh, the, my, my business has been getting more successful. I've had more access to money, and, um, and I've been uh, using it to party a lot harder. So for us, it's important to know that there isn't any underlying issues that we can help with as well, apart from just obviously the increase of the last couple of years. Um, no, I just I, I think I think the access to the money. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I take I take cash up front, mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately that means I've got the money ready. So I've I've had um, the ability to fund quite a fun lifestyle. Okay. We might get on to some money issues in just a moment, but before we do, you mentioned before as well, uh, early on, that you were concerned about possible complaints to the Law Society. Yeah. Has there been any indication that that will occur? Uh, well, I think this, this photograph, that's what I think the or else means. I think that they're going to, they're going to expose the problem. Okay, but uh, apart from the photograph and the complaints, there hasn't been any other indications about formal dealings? Nobody said to me, we've called the Law Society. Okay. No, not directly. They haven't said it to me. Just important for us to know sort of where along the line we are. In well, but I don't know if they have. Certainly. I mean, they may not tell me. Certainly. Absolutely. All right, so you mentioned before that you run a fairly cash-heavy business. Yeah. Can you talk 
describe that a bit further for us? Um, well, when I'm functioning, I'm pretty good. So, you know, when clients come in and they, they, want, um, they want the work done, I, and I have a lot of clients in my books, I say, it's okay, but you need to give me the cash up front to make me available when your trial comes. And um, they give it to me, and I spend it on the drug. Mm -hmm. okay. So are you aware of any of the rules around uh, how lawyers are supposed to account for money and so forth? Yep. Yep. <laughs> do you think you've been following those rules? Well, I'm going to do the work. I just haven't got around to it yet. Okay, so you, do you plan to follow the accounting rules sort of in the future? I, it's, it's getting a bit out of control. Okay. And I know sometimes these questions aren't the most fun to answer, but we are only doing it, obviously, so that we can give you the absolute best advice. Okay. Now, in regards to your firm, do you have anyone who can help you out in terms of your accounting or taking some of the workload off you? Or do you run on I have some associates, but it's really my firm and it's my name that they're coming in for. They want it. Yeah. So that, that could be ending <laughs> with the type of, type of bad performance I've been putting in lately. And in terms of your associates, do they, are they similar in terms of, do they accept cash as well, or does it all go through you? Uh, it all comes into the client um, account, which I'm in control of. Okay. Also, before you mentioned that, obviously, having a few problems, as we understand it, with both the drugs and the increase in the amount of money, and you said that it's perhaps getting out of control. Can you tell us what you mean by that? I have too many clients... And I don't have, but I need them because I need the cash, okay. and I need the retainers up front. But I don't have the time, and sometimes I don't have the. I'm not functioning as well as I should be, so I'm not. I'm not doing the best job I, as I could be doing. Okay, so a couple of areas are obviously perhaps getting a bit out of, uh, out of hand right now. Yeah. Okay. And is that concerning for you, obviously? Um. Well, it. it if I can keep it spinning, it's okay. Okay. But I feel like, you know, I've, I've got this ball rolling around on the tip of my finger, and with this photograph coming in, I don't know how much longer I can hold it up. Okay. And just before we move off sort of monetary issues, just briefly, um, in terms of the trust account where the client's money goes into, you said you've been taking money out to spend for sort of party and so forth. Are there any other debts or anything that we need to know about? Well, I have quite a, um, quite a lot of... Um, I had quite a lot of assets, but they've become unfortunately mortgaged due to the fact that I need quite a lot of money to fund the life that I, I live. Okay. And in regards to that um, mortgage and in regards to those debts, um, are you confident about paying them off or is that... Are you if I keep the clients coming in, sure. Okay. When we're talking about sort of the money required for your lifestyle, how much a day are we talking about? I can run through easily 2,000 US a week. Okay. And that's why I assume essentially just on the party. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just on going out. Okay. Right. Well, at this point, um, perhaps we can now start to look at some of the issues that you've come to us with and see if we can't do anything to help you out. What we might do just now is we'll just let you know sort of the information that we've gathered. Obviously, you know it too. The point of us doing this is to make sure that we haven't missed anything or if there's anything else you need us to know. Okay. So before we start, did you have any other legal issues that you wanted to discuss with us? I want to make sure that this photograph does not um, get me into the trouble I think it's going to get me into. So that's your main concern, yeah. All right. Well, let's talk first of all about that photograph and perhaps talk about what's happening. So obviously we don't necessarily have a huge amount of information about what's necessarily going to happen with that photograph, but we could perhaps talk about some of the consequences of it coming out and what can be done. So what we'll do is essentially run through issues about the photograph, uh, and while that is your main concern and we understand that, we do think it's important to run through some issues about sort of the finances of the business and some other issue, personal issues as well, because sometimes... That's why we're here, to spot problems that may be not as important now, but will become very important soon. So does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And obviously, if you do have any more information or questions, you just jump in at any time. Okay? All right. So first of all, in terms of 
this photograph, obviously, it's potentially quite a compromising situation for you. And